Okay, this is the glute bad and ugly, lower body day. All of the exercises are paired off, which means you go back and feet forth between the exercises in each pair until you're done the prescribed sets, typically two to three. Then you move on to the next pairing. Then you move on to the next pairing. Descriptions on the front, tracking sheet on the back. You're gonna see that I'm asking you to time on your phone how long you're doing each exercise. Timer goes off, you move on. And uh, if you need to, I've given some rep alternatives if you're just not a timer person. Okay, the first exercise is the back on the BOSU, hip raises, single leg. For this one here, you're gonna be laying face up on the ground with your head and shoulders on top of the BOSU ball. One leg is bent with the foot flat, the other leg is straight. Very important, we're pushing from the heel of this bent knee. Hands are down by your sides to help keep you balanced. Drive from the heel, lift your hips up, lower down and repeat. Lift your hips up, lower and repeat. Just like that, okay? Now, when you're doing this, you are going to really feel it in the back of the hips and thighs. You're gonna do all reps on one side, then switch sides and repeat. If you don't have a BOSU ball and you're working out in the gym, just do the leg press machine with a single leg as your alternative. And if you're doing this at home and you don't have a BOSU ball, just put a pile of uh, pillows or cushions under your head and shoulders. Okay, moving on to the next one, BOSU pickle legs. So for this one here, you're going to be laying sideways with basically your knees and lower legs stacked on top of the BOSU ball. Legs stacked, arms crossed, or you can have your top arm down in front like a kickstand. From this position, you lift your hips up from the side. So right now, my hips are off the ground and I'm lifting the top leg up and down repeatedly. That's the exercise. I'm working my lateral core and I'm working my lateral hips. Okay, if I didn't have a BOSU ball, I could use a pile of pillows and cushions instead. Or if I'm at the gym, I could just use the abductor machine. It's the machine where you open and close your legs against resistance, okay? Now, to make that exercise harder, you would just go further down. So I'd go down from here, and now the ball is closer to my ankles, that's a longer lever arm. Whereas if I move in closer, that's a shorter lever arm. That's gonna make it easier, all right? Now the next exercise is for the groin. This is the adductor side plank. Now if it's too hard, if it's too hard, you just do this. Adductor leg raises laying on your side, okay? Otherwise, the exercise looks like this. You're laying on the side, your top leg is straight, your bottom leg is bent behind you. Now you're gonna to try to keep the bottom leg attached to the top leg. We're gonna be lifting the hips up from the side, holding for five, lowering and repeating. This hand, for now, I'm just gonna cup the bottom shoulder. You can put it on your hip, put your arm up. There's a bunch of different variations, they're all fine. Okay, so you lift your hips up, hold for five, lower everything back to the floor and repeat. Hips up, one, two, three, four, five, down and repeat. That is the exercise. I could progress it if I wanted to. I didn't make this the standard variation, but stabilizing on a BOSU ball can bring in a level of instability and make it a progression. And then if you're at a gym and you want to work the adductors, you just do the exercise where you're closing your legs against resistance, the adductor machine. All right, next up is the straight bridge, alternating leg raises. For this one here, you're laying face up. Back your legs on the BOSU ball, hands down by your sides. Lift your hips up all the way and keep them up the whole time. From this position, keeping the legs straight, raise one all the way up and down, then the other one. Repeat, alternating sides, okay? Now if I wanna make it harder, you kick the BOSU ball so it's further away from you, all right? And you perform from there. If you need to make it easier, you bring it in closer. If you don't have a BOSU ball, just use a pile of pillows and cushions once again. All right, next exercise is a lunge, a BOSU bubble down lunge. So typically for this exercise, you're gonna be having the BOSU upside down like this. You're gonna have your front foot on top, right in the middle, and you're gonna be holding on to something as you lunge down and up, okay? Just like that. The progression is to not hold on to anything, and a further progression is to hold some weights in your hand. 
I'm just going to give you a sideways view of this. You're like this, front foot's on the BOSU, this leg is back, and you're lunging up and down trying to keep this thing steady. Okay? Now, if you don't have a BOSU ball, perhaps you have a fit cushion or a wobble board. They are other devices that you use to balance. If you don't have any of those, do this with the front heel up and just do a body weight lunge going up and down. Because if you're doing a lunge on the front of your foot with the heel elevated, there's going to be a lot of wobbling and instability. Okay? So that's an alternative for you. Now the next exercise is a calf raise in which you're going to be balancing the BOSU ball on its side like this. Stand on one leg. Keep the BOSU ball balanced and repeatedly lift your heel all the way up and down. For some people that's too hard and I'll just get you to go double legged, both legs at the same time. Okay? A progression, if you find it a little too easy, is to do a little pump at the top. Just go, once you get up to the top, just go up and down a little centimeter or so and repeat. If you don't have a BOSU ball, no problem. You can just do this holding on to a bench or a Swiss ball. Bend over like so, okay? Now we're going to get into some options that are listed at the bottom of your workout. These are things that you can do. Uh, they're not mandatory. They're for the lateral core. They're optional. You can do them if you want, okay? If you have the, uh, these are just the suggested finishers. One is a farmer's carry. You would be holding a really heavy weight. Could be a kettlebell or a dumbbell. Don't let it touch your side or rest against your side. Keep it away from your side. And then you're just going to walk with it. Try to walk with your feet in a straight line, okay? So you're like tightrope walking. And using a heavier weight like that, that one there is 76 pounds, but using a heavy weight like that is going to work your lateral core, okay? Now another alternative to that would be, if you have access to it, a low cable pulley side bend. So I would be holding on to, and I'm just going to set it up right here so you can see, I'm just going to be holding on to a low cable pulley on one side, okay? So I'm standing out here on the machine, my hands by my head. I'm imagining I'm standing between two panes of glass, and I'm doing a strict side bend, okay? So, you can do that at the gym if you have access to it. Those would be your optional finishers. This here, once again, it's the glute bad and ugly. It's a lower body day, okay? Uh, take minimal rest breaks. During each set, you take breaks if you have to. If you can't do it all in a straight row, that's okay. You're still a good person. It's best done one to three times a week. Three times a week if you're sleeping and recovering and not stressed out at all. Uh, one time a week if you're in a super busy phase of life. Usually most people are getting this done twice a week. All right, and trying to aim to progress things a little bit every single time you do the workout. Once again, that's the glute bad and ugly.